Hello, this is attorney Brandon Grisco, partner with the law firm of Fosson & Grisco, uh, here with an important legal update that affects federal grant funds in your community. Back in August, I wrote an article for Michigan Lawyers Weekly concerning the uncertainty caused by Michigan's recent budget legislation. Now that Michigan budget required all communities uh, with American Rescue Plan Act dollars on hand, that's ARPA for short, to obligate those ARPA funds no later than year end of 2023. Well, the problem with that was that the federal ARPA program allowed those funds to remain unobligated until year-end 2024. So in other words, the Michigan budget process was speeding up that federal schedule uh, with little to no notice to communities. Although fund obligation is defined under the federal ARPA program as a binding payment obligation of some type, uh, this would massively disrupt projects with long procurement lead times. So in my article, I suggested that the Michigan Treasury should adopt practical guidance for communities to follow with respect to identifying what constitutes a fund obligation. Uh, I also predicted that a normal budget appropriation could be read as meeting that fund obligation requirement. And so I'm happy today to report that I did accurately predict the direction that the Treasury was going to head in with this. Um, they defined an obligation as an order placed for property or services and similar transactions that require payment, or, uh, and here's the important language, appropriating the funds for a specific purpose. So what does all this mean for your community? Well, if your community still has ARPA funds on hand, uh, then a budget amendment should be passed no later than December 31st of 2023 to obligate those funds for a specific ARPA qualified expense. Again, I'm Brandon Grisco with Fawson & Grisco, your premier Western Wayne County law firm representing cities, counties, businesses, developers, and more in federal contracts, grants, and government agency approvals. Uh, drop us a line at 248-380-0000, or as always, you can let us know your questions in the comments section.